Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I have a multi-site WordPress site for my blog, uh, which is basically a network of sites underneath one blog. It sounds kind of crazy, but it's normally used in academic settings or in enterprise settings where you have a main blog site and you have contributors to different parts of your blog. So everyone may want their own like widgets on their page or they want different types of content or even different theming on those sites. And so that was one reason why you would have a multi-site WordPress site. I don't have a big, big team at all. It's just me and my blog. And the reason why I actually did this a couple years ago, probably around 2012 timeframe was because I have a lifestyle blog. Um, I had run multiple blogs, but I have a specific lifestyle blog where I cover a variety of topics from parenthood to lifestyle. I actually had a photography uh, blog once where I was doing like family photography and I do home DIY projects. So they were all four separate things. And on the side of my blog, I actually wanted widgets that were specific for those pieces of content. So for home decor, I wanted widgets that was specific to home decor. On the motherhood one, I wanted uh, things specific to, let's say, being a parent or with kids or whatever, right? And so that's why I actually separated it uh, in 2012 because I wanted widgets on the side of my blog that actually corresponded to the theme of my blog. Well, what I found out uh, later, now that I am a blogger who kind of knows a few things, um, tips and tricks, I mean, I'm not an official blogger by any means, but things that I've learned is that with ads, obviously you wanna have less content, if you will, on the side of your blog so that you can run more ads there. And so truly, like, I really don't need my widgets to be customized. And that was the only reason why I did a multi-site WordPress site. Um, and what's really annoying about multi-site WordPress sites is that um, for me, I had like six of them six network sites and so anytime I had a developer that I wanted to hire or a freelancer that I wanted to hire, I would have to give them access to all six of my multi-sites and that took forever. Um, even then, whenever I wanted to customize a part of my site in for all of my multi-sites, they looked exactly the same. So if I ever wanted to change like a certain theme or a setting or just do additional CSS on the WordPress site, I would actually have to copy that code on six different sites and it was really, painful and annoying. In addition to that, um, updating the plugins was highly annoying because I had to update all of them, um, all of the comments whenever I'm looking and checking for comments on my uh, WordPress site, I would actually have to check at six different places. And that was just um, that was just a waste of time just trying to navigate the WordPress site. And I actually lived through this for about eight years. And I'm actually in the process of uh, hiring a developer to change my multi-site WordPress site into one WordPress site that I can manage and update all the content because at the end of the day, I'm managing about uh, four different blogs at this point as well as two YouTube channels and I just need to be able to save time, especially on one of my money making blogs uh, so that I'm not having to focus on, you know, updating all six of those multi sites every time I wanted to uh, tweak something. In addition to that, um, my plan is actually to move to Trellis, uh, which is the uh, Mediavine um, WordPress, I think they call it a WordPress um, uh, theme and so my plan is to increase the page speed by moving to Trellis um, after I update um, all the multi-sites to one blog. So if you're thinking about a multi-site, just make sure that you understand the ramifications of it. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you guys the multi-site WordPress site on the back end before um, my developer goes ahead and changes it. So this is my lifestyle site, and I've got different multi-sites. So each of these different, like I call them categories high-level categories. So this is a uh, category inside the multi-site, okay? Um, so I've got like our family, our home, motherhood, entertaining, photography, and, and all that. And these are each multi-sites. And if, so if I go to each of these sites, okay, um, you'll see that it has like all of the information on um, each of these different multi-sites. And so whenever I'm showcasing the home page, of this multi-site, the URL for this one is sangerson.com slash entertaining. This one is um, sangerson.com slash our home. Okay. And each of these are different multi-sites. So if I go into WordPress and I go to my sites, there's a network uh, multi-site like section where um, you can actually upgrade or update or add a plugin, okay, or a theme. After you do it at the network level, you can then do it at the... Um, I guess the uh, sub-site level. And so each of these is a sub-site. And so anytime I would actually want to add a plugin, um, I would actually have to go to plugin. And if I wanted it to go across my entire like blog, which is again, one big blog with 
a bunch of multi-sites, I'd have to activate it across all of those different blogs. And it was super, super annoying. So um, that is one reason why I'm also uh, trying to uh, remove this. In addition to that, um, I do a lot of like customization when it comes to uh, my my headers and footers as well as like the appearance uh you know in the customized section um, whenever you go into um, wordpress and you want to add a multi-site or a um, additional css right to customize your theme i'd have to do this in six different sections so if i wanted to let's say um, change the font or change the url or do something very small um, it wasn't small it was big i'd have to do it six times and it's annoying to actually open up all six of those pages um, and let's say you want to change the color right so let's say I wanted to change the color of my theme, I'd have to do it in six different places and it was super annoying. The only benefit to having a multi-site um, is if you have a blog that's big enough where you have collaborators. So let's say one person actually owns our family and our home, motherhood and entertaining and you actually have like a team that is dedicated to their actual site and to make sure that they upgrade each of those sites and there is a reason why each of those sites have to have their own multi-site either because um, I don't know the theme that they need for their multi-site is a little bit different because you need a different plugin that doesn't really isn't required for let's say our family and you want to make sure that the plugin only runs here because um, it'll reduce the slowness on the other ones if it's just installed there that is one good reason um, if you have one blog that's run as a multi-site uh, but that's the only reason that I see that you would ever want to do this otherwise you're just updating updating like six or seven different multi-sites and it's just super annoying. So that is the reason why I am moving uh, back to having one blog. I'm hoping that it doesn't uh, mess up my SEO, um, the backlinking or the, um, the linking uh, is uh, fixed so that it's just like, you know, not a lot of redirection they're just uploading the posts for me so anyway um i'm, I'm hoping that uh, the migration from multi-site to a single site uh will go well but again i am not a fan of the multi-site unless you are truly needing uh several team members to own different pieces of the site um, I would not recommend it to the average blogger, um, especially if you're trying to widgetize um, this, this side panel. I, I just don't think it's worth it because at the end of the day, each of my like high level categories was actually a site on its own. And so right now they're migrating it um, to make sure that you know, the URLs stick. And so that's the other thing. If you wanna migrate back, uh, you might have concerns around like the URLs and SEO, and you just wanna make sure that you hire like the best developer you can if you wanna migrate back and forth. And so that's another thing that you should consider if you are wanting to do a multi-site WordPress site. Um, I would highly recommend against it, again, because um, as a single uh, blogger who is managing uh, content across different domains. I just, I just don't have the time and it's just not worth it in the end. If you guys have any questions on my experience about multi-site WordPress sites and also um, any other questions on it, please feel free to comment below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys. And if you guys want um, income reports, go ahead and subscribe um, to my email newsletter where I send out um, emails basically detailing my income reports for all the blogs that I run um, because I think that will definitely help you. I also share tips and tricks on the, some of the best and greatest things I've learned along the way. Um, on and then before I go, uh, I wanted to do a quick plug. If you want access to this vault of library of stuff that I have um, that's completely free, go ahead and click on the link below to subscribe to the vault. Uh, basically, I'll send you a password and then um, you just give me your name and email address and you'll get access to that and I'll send you emails every Friday on like the best tips and tricks that I found, honestly, um, that I've been using or things that I uh, have been doing consistently so that it motivates you guys. If you guys need that level of motivation, I'm gonna tell you what I did, uh, especially knowing that you know I am uh, a working mom who works outside of the home, outside of this blog, as well as has four kids um, and you guys need that motivation to continue creating content. Um, I'm going to do that for you every Friday. Um, in addition to that, I'm going to share with you the latest tips and tricks that I've learned um, in terms of like uh, just blogging, uh, paid search, uh, SEO, as well as anything uh, related to sponsored content um, and learning how to work with uh, brands and businesses. So go ahead and subscribe because every Friday I literally uh, try to send out an email so that you guys are getting like the best tips that I've learned along the way um, as well as my status on my um, my journey with uh, income school 
which is a uh, subscription-based um, course where you learn a ton of different stuff. So go ahead and um, uh, subscribe. Go click on the link, subscribe. Um, this is what the site will look like when you click, and then um, you'll be able to get the password to get this access and then get my Friday emails.